Hello everyone, my name is Nam Dao. I'm a POM application engineer at SciTech. And today I'm going to show you how to quickly resolve the, uh, the issue like when you're trying to export uh, the, uh, the administrator out from Team Center. So let's say right now I'm trying to export out the, uh, the style sheet from the TEM. So I will run TEM. So in Tim, I'm trying to export out the uh, style sheet. Select for export. Next, then I select the style sheet, and then I will try to uh, save the, uh, the data back back as on my desktop. So I hit next. And when I uh, hit start. And I will get the uh, the error message saying like there's um, some issue that corrupt my uh, my uh, export process. So I got this alert and saying like I have an issue why uh, exporting out the style sheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a look at the, uh, the export log file. So I close this one down, go to this folder, style sheet, and then I will take a look at the, uh, the log file. And if I'm scrolling down to the bottom, right here, it's saying like, um, I have the class of I'm, I'm in file, have the same Kennedy K, and I must to correct the data. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to extract the, uh, the data doxy file. So in the data folder, I'm going to extract one more time. And here I will search for style sheet. Dot the XML file. And I'm going to open back the uh, the error, uh, error from the, uh, the style sheet lock. And next I'm going to copy for the object name and perform the shot in here. In here, I'm going to take a swift, quick uh, snip shot for this. And then I also perform another search for the other object. So we can easily compare like when the object uh, was created before or something. So in here, we can uh, easily do the comparison between these two objects. So this object was created uh, on May 16, 2013, and the other object was created back in April this year. And then right here is also saying the uh, the item, the XML file of that item was stored inside the uh, the volume. And from here, and when I open uh, up the uh, the two XML file, I I can get the, out the uh, like uh, the the difference between two items. So now I'm 
go back. I will turn on my uh, risk client and go and perform the search for that uh, XML file. So I log into the risk client and I'm go, going to uh, perform the general search. XML rendering. And then in here, I can know uh, which like XML file that I'm, I need to, uh, to the project. The first one is the, uh, the STI item create. And the second one is the item create right here. So I'm going to shut like this. So this is STI item. Okay, so in here, the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the item create. So it's look like this. And another item is the STI item create. As, as you can see, the uh, re register tab of uh, these two uh, XML are the same. So that's why it's make a, a conflict in, in there. So the, the, the quick way is uh, to, to fix this one is we can make a copy or backup of this item create by select this one and then Go to the name reference and download a, a backup copy of that file. After I have the backup file, I can, the first thing I can do is like I can uh, delete this file or I can change the register tab to different uh, item tab. So in this case, I know on my system, like I don't use the uh, the out of the box item so I can right here I can easily change to item and this one and hit apply and then for the other one I will keep the same as SDI item and hit apply now I'm going to close the risk client and then perform the export one more time to close this one and the other file. Now I'm going to erase this folder so we can get the, uh, the up to that uh, export uh, log file. I'm going to this. Perform the same, uh, same step that I did uh, before. Do the same thing for a sport style sheet. And now you can see the, uh, the export uh, admin data, uh, administration data has been successfully exported out of Team Center. Now we can close this one, and then we can double check on the export uh, log file by scrolling down to here. And right here, we don't see any error messages anymore. So hopefully this tip will help you guys on uh, how to adjust this uh, issue and let me know if you if you have any question please uh, like and subscribe our channel if you like this video thank you for watching bye bye
Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.